What's up guys, it's The Real Deal. Welcome to the channel. Guys, today we are gonna be doing Sinsaro Marsh. This is gonna be for anyone that's early in the game. I mean, I'm only at level seven. This is gonna be for anyone that will start between levels three to five to help you guys progress. So we're in level seven and I'll just show you the team comp that we're running. So we've got Leo, Oak as our tank. Leo's just there for damage. But, you know, we could definitely sub out all of these champions. It's just to fill these roles. Obviously, Leo, great attack champion. Oak as a tank. Uh, we've got Ravenar, uh, energy champion doing damage. And if you want to know who's an energy champion, you can just see they've got this little triangle. So running three energy uh, champions, uh, Sorietta and then uh, Carmore. So we've got these uh, champions. And then the next thing we've got as well is Grace is an amazing um uh, commander for this she's going to increase the damage that uh, our AOE champions do and then when you're looking at these chips it comes down to what we've got available ah so this is actually worth subbing out i don't think i can upgrade it no but yeah this is actually so this is new to the account so let's just assign that so that's going to increase the damage that my AOE champions do um, and again, anything that's going to help with AoE, we should be equipping. Okay, so we've got no, nothing that's going to help outside of that, so that's fine. And then this one, yeah, so we're just going to go with the legendary one. I don't feel that, yeah, there's going to be no improvement, so it doesn't matter. But yeah. But if you just see anything that will help um, energy champions, make sure you choose it. That's pretty much it. So we're just going to challenge this, whack it to max. And it's pretty simple mechanics for this boss. So we're going to try and blast these eggs down. Then the boss will hatch. And then we'll get these spiderlings that come from behind us. And they do a serious amount of damage. Uh, they basically like throw poisons on the squad and will just drop people. And so that's why you want to bring in AoE champions because the AoE champions are just going to clear these mobs nice and easy. And yeah, they're already gone. And yeah, at the moment it looks like most people are just focusing on the boss anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. And we're just going to take him down can see some more eggs have spawned down at the bottom. Ravenar is coming in to uh, just take those out. And the spiderlings are spawning. And Ravenar is pretty much single-handedly taking those out. Um, for me at the moment, I feel for me to sort of progress to the next level now is just getting a little bit more gear and uh, maybe, maybe a few different champions or just evolving and upgrading my champions but you know that's how gotcha games work you sort of progress quite quickly then you get sort of stuck a little bit and you have to just play it out for a little bit build up your gear farm gear and then you just sort of progress to the next level and just work your way up so just blasting through these uh spiderlings uh absolutely love ravener she is an awesome champion um, there was like some sort of event on and she was pretty easy to get. I think you needed 84k points, 82k points. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, super, really, really easy to do. It took me maybe four or five days to get her and just had to do very simple daily quests. Uh oh, Carmore's down, boys. But um, yeah, it's fine. We're definitely going to do this with no problems. And Soretti or Siretta is coming in. And oh, look at that. Leo having to, to fill that AoE role. Yeah. And Leo as well. What an absolute boss. Um, I mean, he's one of my favorite champions. Still top tier in the game. Um, it, it, I don't know how long he's been in the game for, to be honest, but obviously he's been in for a while. Um, but yeah, he's still an absolute beast. Hard carry. And that's it, guys. Boss down, game over. All right, guys, let's check out the builds. 
So first off, we've got Oak, and he is a tanky champion. So basically, we want to get loads of HP on him because he's going to take in all those hits. So we've got him in uh, four or two sets of two of uh, Vigorious, which gives him 30% increased HP because we've got four pieces. And then we've got a broken set as well. So the reason for that is, is that um, Mythic Gear is going to be so much better than Epic Gear. So that's the reason why I've gone for that. Um, because the stats on the pr the primary stats are so much stronger and better. And if we do replace and then click on filter, you can see so you get rare, elite, epic, mythic, and legendary gear. No legendary gear on the account just yet. And uh, let's just come out of that again. So I'll just go through every single piece so you guys can sort of see what we're rolling with. 31k HP though. Those are some and then 18% on the gloves. Very, very nice. 32% on the helmet as well. And then some damage reduction on the boots as well. Really, really nice. So we are rocking total stats, 164k HP, um, 487 defense, and then uh, damage reduction, 14.4%. Round it up to 15. Uh, car more. Um, we've got, let's see. So we're going for... Uh, crit rate gear which is a uh, sunset oh, sorry sunset sun signet and then um we've got attack as well which is from hero so we've got again we do have broken sets uh but these are really nice gloves that 14.4 percent crit rate that's going to massively increase our damage crit rate in every sort of gotcha game gacha game even is going to increase your damage load so you know, let's just have a look at the total stats. We've got 2k attack, 34% crit rate, and 2.8 crit damage. So crit damage is really low at the moment. Obviously, that's going to change as we progress in the game. And I'll just go through every single piece so you guys can sort of see what we're rolling with. But um, yeah, helmet and gloves are really, really nice. Uh, boots are okay, but you know, it's nice to have some HP, make us a little bit tanky, give us some survivability. So Leo, one of my favorite champions, um, do need to max his gloves out a little bit. But um, yeah, if we just quickly go through this. So again, Vigorious set is great on him. And we've got four pieces and then a broken set. Again, the primary substat is more important than, than having like a complete set, in my opinion. And at this sort of low level as well, it doesn't matter as much. So 65k HP, um, I feel that's the only stat that's really important. But later on in the game, you know, damage reduction, crit rate and crit damage would be nice as well because he does hit really, really hard. Ravenar, or Ravenar even. So again, there's a, we don't have a lot of sets going on, but we do have heroes for that increased attack. So total stats, we've got 2k attack, 25% crit rate. That's pretty good. Oh, and that's all coming from the gloves. Uh, and then 5.2% crit damage as well. I'll just go through every single piece for you guys as well. Yeah, and then we've got Sarita. So Sarita, we have got... Um, some crit rate going on, some attack, and we we actually have a incomplete sets. So yeah, that's really nice. So we're getting thirty percent uh, crit rate. See, it's like huge down here. And do you know what? When I level up these gloves, that's gonna be another like twenty. So we at sixty percent crit rate. That is gonna massively increase her damage. Uh, just go for every single piece for you guys again. Uh, the helmet's not gonna help us too much. To be honest, that's a bit. A bit of a sucky helmet. And then some pretty decent boots. But yeah, just need to just need to uh basically just need to level up my gear. But that should massively help with us with progression. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope this helps some of you guys out there. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the video soon. Peace!